Simba, Simba. The coup at Ford Kenya is getting noisy and messy. The Moses Wetangula faction insisting that he is still in charge of the party. Despite the coup stage on Sunday by Tongaren Member of Parliament and Party Secretary General Leseli Simio, Kandui lawmaker Wafula Wamunyini and Bungoma Governor Wycliffe Wangamati. The leadership of the party remains in the legitimate hands of the legitimate leaders led by our Apple party leader, Senator Moses Masika Wetangula. At the height of the coup, the Selesimi wing presented to the Registrar of Political Parties a letter dated 10th of May 2020 addressed to Senator Moses Wetangula containing complaints from party members. Selesimi and team also forwarded to the Registrar a notice of neck meeting dated 28th May as well as minutes of the neck meeting held on the 31st at the Redison Blue Hotel. List of persons who attended as well as the PP7 form was also sent to the registrar. Tangula's bid to repulse the coup saw his faction present notices of an extraordinary neck and PG meetings. Shoko's letters to party SGSL Simio and Wafula Wamunyini dated 28th May were also sent to the registrar. Minutes of the neck meeting as well as the list of attendees was also attached. But the registrar of political parties in her response says that the meeting chaired by Wetangula did not have quorum to institute disciplinary actions and did not fill the PP7 form. PP7 is a form that is used to when there's change of leadership of the names. And when you look at the constitution of our party, the NEG has no powers to change the names of the officials of the party. What they can only do is to propose the agenda for the General Council or for the NDC. The Aseli Simiu faction did not also satisfy the registrar, noting that the statutory form PP7 was not properly signed by authorized officials as per the records held in her office. Both parties have now been told to resubmit the same before the final verdict is made. <laughs> but even before a verdict is reached, there is already a coup within and without the Lion Party. In Bungoma, Devolution Cabinet Secretary Eugene Wamalua and Kakamega Governor Wickley Voparanya met the Luya Council of Elders in their attempt to solidify support from the region following strong opposition from ANC boss Musalia Mudavadi and Moses Wetangula. Sasa, hawa wili Wamalua Nendo Paranya kukaa kwa ile mesa ambaye president mwenyewe anayemuona mkikaa na mumwambie hii maneno yetu katika siasa uachi nafasi huyu akipotea unaweka mwingine straight away na sasa sisi tumeamua tumeweka hawa kwa maana wale bado wanabahatisha batisha waendelee kubatisha huko lakini we must go on tukitoka hapa wazee wa sabod ni wametualika tuanzoya kupitia senator mbiti tukitoka tuanzoya wazee wa teso wametualika okilidu busia kesho na hizi ni juhudi tuwataka tuunganishe jamii zetu Wamalu and Oparanya were endorsed in Kajiado last Friday where governors, MPs and senators from the region met at Kotu Secretary General Francis Atuali's home Stephen Latos, Citizen TV Nairobi